as we head towards the Royal Rumble Premium Live Event. Welcome everyone live to SmackDown. As we begin the show with a fatal four-way table match, where the winner will become Seth Rollins' next challenger for the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble. As we begin the show with Matt Riddle, the original bro, making his way down the aisle. Big opportunity for Matt Riddle. He's been getting a lot of opportunities as of late, whether it's the King of the Ring or number one contenders matches for the Intercontinental title. Now tonight, an opportunity to where he could maybe go to the Rumble and compete for the top prize in our sport, the WWE Championship. The only success Matt Riddle's ever had in universe mode was that he's a former Money in the Bank holder. Other than that, he has yet to win a championship. As here comes the Masked Luchador. The legendary Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio, former three-time world champion, a two-time world heavyweight champion, one-time WWE champion. Rey Mysterio's had success in the past in, in universe mode. But tonight, they're gonna go ahead and maybe win this tables match to go all the way to the Rumble to compete for the WWE title once again. Remus has a lot of history with the Rumble. 62 minutes, 12 seconds in the 2006 Royal Rumble match and won the whole thing at number two. But there comes a man who's looking to make the Royal Rumble event even more glorious than it already is. A former television champion, a former tag team champion, the glorious Robert Roode. Robert Roode, big opportunity as well tonight. Not, I'm sure if he could get a win tonight, maybe he could get over the fact that he did not win the Intercontinental title from Drew McIntyre a few episodes ago here on SmackDown. As tonight, it could be rude tonight. All he has to do is put his opponent through a table, and that's it. It's one table crash, and that's it. The number one contender will be crowned in that moment. And there comes the final participant in the four-way tables match. A man who has been to the mountaintop before. A man who's won the Royal Rumble in the past. The prize fighter. Kevin Owens! Kevin Owens, 2K18, won the Royal Rumble, went on to WrestleMania in Dallas, Texas, and won the WWE Championship in the main event against Bray Wyatt. A three-time champion is Kevin Owens. Four, a five-time, rather, Intercontinental Champion. NXT Champion as well. Kevin Owens has done so much in Universe Mode, and maybe tonight, if you could get a win tonight, maybe one power bomb through a table can get the job done for Owens. One step closer to becoming a four-time WWE Champion. Fans seem to be behind Riddle here tonight. Fatal four-way rules. Everyone can go at it as oh, an X Factor there by Rey Mysterio. Then a standing note saw on the Kevin Owens. As Matt Riddle with a disaster kick for Rude, able to dodge a bullet there. As Kevin Owens, looking neck breaker there as tonight on SmackDown. Three big matches. We start off with the four way. Then we have Jay, uh, Jimmy Uso, rather, one on one with Randy Orton. As Riddle with a Broton off the second rope. And then Riddle off the ropes again, second time nailing the Broton. And now Riddle, uh oh, they're gonna bring in the hardware already as Kevin Owens taking it towards Mysterio. 
I'm sure Owens and Mysterio are cool, but no doubt when it comes to the WWE Championship, when it comes to being in the ring, every man for himself. Got red suplex onto the table. Oh my God. Twice there for Rude and Rey Mysterio suffers under that table as well. Fall away slam by Owens. And now Owens attacks Riddle with a backbreaker. And now, I mean, I'm sure Seth Rollins is watching on after getting rid of Roman Reigns as far as a, a threat goes. Mysterio trying to go for a moonsault. Owens barely got out of dodge. Kevin Owens going up top, looking to fly on Mysterio, but Ray up top as well. But Ray, I meant Ray trying to get up to his feet, but able to dodge a bullet nonetheless. The crowd chanting, We want tables. Well, Robert Rude looking to bring in another table. And Riddle looking to bring in another table. Three tables, but four men. One of them got to go through it. I don't know if this match would be better or worse if it was an elimination match. Maybe for the fans to be better. Get to see three people go through the table, but in any event, it's Riddle. Slamming Owens almost like a power bomb like maneuver onto the table there. And now Riddle and Rude are gonna coexist there. It's a curry by Rude nonetheless on the Mysterio. Sending Ray onto the table. This could be bad news. It's Riddle. It was Riddle that went through the table, but it doesn't count. And look at Robert Roode follow a slam under the table pieces. I'm sure you would have loved to do that to Rey Mysterio through the table. But because of Matt Riddle risking it all for a disaster kick, landing onto the table. And now Kevin Owens up to his feet. Trying to go for a final flash. Did Riddle with the knee. Rude able to knock down the table for the moment. Rey Mysterio taking it towards Riddle. Drop kick. All for an opportunity at the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble. Kick to the midsection. And now, oh wait a minute, Mysterio! Meeting in the minds for Rude and Owens there. And a Ray with a jumping DDT on the Rude. And now, oh, Owens, they're going to drive the knee. Kevin, oh wait, stutter! Stutter by Owens! Owens for the stunner! Everybody's down, but Kevin Owens. Which, uh oh, they're going to use, oh, wait a minute, Riddle knocked down the, the table, but Owens with a double foot stop on the red. Kick to the gut. Riddle again, disaster kick, that time connected. Out goes Owens, and now it's Riddle and Mysterio. German suplex there by Riddle. Riddle up top, they're gonna risk it, no. Decided against it there. And now it's Rude in the ring. Mysterio, Mysterio to the bad spot. Oof. Reverse atomic drop there by Robert Roode and another table being introduced. Snapmare takedown and a oh, kick to the face there by Ray. Kevin Owens now. Oh no, T-Bone. Oh. Onto the table and a splash by Ray. Kick to the midsection, Kevin Owens. Oh, he tried to set up Riddle, but Riddle stopped himself. Riddle over the block. And then Riddle took out Owens. All for an opportunity at the WWE title. Riddle got Owens. Could he go for a power slam? Owens able to avoid disaster. Riddle could have could have potentially put Owens through the table there. And now Owens sends Riddle onto the table. And now, oh no! Wait a minute! Owens! Pop the power bomb through the table! Owens is number one contender! Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it, Kevin Owens, number one contender for Rollins' title at the Rumble. Rollins and Owens for the championship. My God.
God, I can't wait for that. There's Randy Orton. Responding to what Jimmy Uso said on the last episode. Jimmy Uso wants revenge for his family. Well, Randy Orton is out for revenge for himself after what the bloodline done to him all the way back at SummerSlam. Randy Orton took care of Jey Uso at Survivor Series, punt to the skull. And now he claims that Jimmy Uso is next. This does not stop until Orton gets his hands on the reins. Well, Orton, Jimmy, next. Live in San Antonio, Texas, the next premium live event for Universe Mode is the Royal Rumble, where superstars from Raw and SmackDown will battle inside the ring. Only one will stand tall to go to WrestleMania. The road to WrestleMania begins at the Royal Rumble. Live in New Orleans, Louisiana. It's now time to settle a score. Who will get payback here tonight? For Jimmy Uso, it's for Jay Uso. For Randy Orton, it's itself. This all started back in the summer when Randy Orton drew first blood with Roman Reigns. RKO'd Roman Reigns after it was announced that it will be a four-way for the WWE title. Jey Uso got payback on behalf of Roman. Then at SummerSlam, things went up. Things went a bit further if you take a look at it. Like, Randy Orton was taken out by the Usos. He tried to get payback at Clash of Champions, where Edge came back to be his partner, but wasn't the case. The Usos came out on top and then at Survivor Series that's when things took a turn for the bloodline and here comes the Viper Randy Orton Randy Orton looking to go ahead and try to get payback at the expense of the bloodline taking care of Jimmy Uso here tonight but at Survivor Series, months ago, it was Randy Orton who took out Jey Uso. Pump kick to the skull. One, two, three. Got the job done. But it was later found out that Jey Uso suffered a concussion and was taken out of action for a while. Jimmy Uso feels that he has the obligation to get payback. To get revenge for Jey Uso. Which leads us to tonight. Will Jimmy Uso do that? Will he be able to get payback? Will he be able to take out Randy Orton? Orton said, well, this does not stop until he gets his hands on Roman Reigns. We're going to see how that will fare. Starting tonight here on SmackDown. Because even though Roman Reigns got his hands full with John Moxley, the one in our main event, he might have a Viper waiting in the wings. Battle swung, here we go. Jimmy Uso, Randy Orton. Knee to the midsection there. And now, ooh, Jimmy. With a kick to the midsection. I mean, Jimmy Uso once competed for the WWE title a few episodes ago on SmackDown, leading towards Survivor Series. And I'm sure Jimmy Uso is now understanding the meaning of main event. Taking on main event superstars like Randy Orton, a former multiple time world champion, the second ever universe, Universal Champion in Universe Mode history. As Jimmy takes down Owen with the double axe hand. As pounding away. Face. Pounding. No! Oh! Kick to the spine. The punches to the face. Kick to the spine. Jimmy Uso 
firing on all cylinders. A Frankensteiner hooking a leg as well to take one down, but no. Still not enough. And now, ooh, tracks all over Orton. I mean, Jimmy Uso showing why he's a multiple time tag team champion. He knows how to get it done, but oh! Orton showing why he's a former multiple time world champion. Something that Jimmy Uso has yet to accomplish in his entire career so far. And now Randy Orton got him in position here. Jimmy's in deep trouble. Set up for the Viper DDT. The Viper DDT planning Jimmy Uso. But obviously Orton's not done. Goes for the cover. Hook at the outside line. Will it be? Lot of press and Jimmy powers out at one. Maybe trying to send a message that, hey, I got a lot left in the tank. And it's Orton with a double axe handle off the top. Off the top. And now Randy Orton with an RKO. RKO on the Jimmy Uso for the win. No! Jimmy Uso powered out of toe. You got to admire the guts of Jimmy. He knew that if he stayed out to the RKO, even one RKO, it would not get the job done for the bloodline. Super kick in order him to get the ropes there. And I look at Solo. Then I forgot to mention that Solo at ringside. Solo Sokoa watching on. Trying to pay dividends. Jimmy on top. Splash! Will it be? Could it be? Payback for Jimmy with the splash and Orton kicked out of two. Orton kicked out at two. Both men searching for payback, for vengeance, for their own reasons. But only one will get it tonight. Jimmy Uso with the submission applied on Orton. Solo again watching on and Orton takes care, takes care of Jimmy there. And now Solo trying to distract the ref or distract Randy Orton. Didn't work out. Jimmy now. Strikes being delivered. And now Randy Orton swinging neckbreaker. Neckbreaker on to Jimmy. Jimmy Uso's in deep trouble. What's this? Randy Orton got him in the corner. Yeah. Randy Orton now. Uh oh no. Oh no, not a top rope Viper DDT! Top rope DDT! Randy Orton in the cover for the win! And Jimmy powers at it too! What will it take? Uh oh. This might do it. Randy Orton! RKO! Run in front of Solo, RKO! Randy Orton gets the win! Randy Orton gets the win off the RKO! The top rope DDT, I thought it would do it, but it shows that Jimmy Uso got a lot of guts. But tonight, it's the Viper that stands tall. Could Solo Sokoa be next? On the Vipers hitless, heading towards the rumble. Whoa, this does not stop for the Viper until he gets his hands on Roman Reigns. The question is, will he? Make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell where you never miss a video from this channel. On the next episode of SmackDown, we will see a big tag team match as Becky Lynch and the Intercontinental Champion Alexa Bliss taking on the Women's Champion Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey. And also, after what we saw moments ago, it will be official. Randy Orton versus Solo Sokoa. If Orton can get through Sokoa, he will get Roman Reigns at the Royal Rumble in a one-on-one -on -one match. Speaking of Roman Reigns, coming up next, it's our main event, Moxley Reigns. One on one for the first time since SummerSlam over a year ago. Reigns and Moxley. Minimum time begins now. Live in New Orleans, Louisiana. We welcome you to our main event. 
As here comes the Tribal Chief. In the last episode of SmackDown, Rain said that Moxley coming back to WWE was a joke and he's gonna make it seem that Moxley's return was the biggest mistake Moxley has ever made. The question is though, what can Roman Reigns prepare for? How can he prepare for a match with John Moxley? This isn't Dean Ambrose that we dealt with a, a year and a half ago. This is John Moxley, a man who's been head and shoulders above all in another wrestling company, in AEW. Yeah, he comes back to WWE here on SmackDown, where Roman Reigns has been head and shoulders above all over the last year and a half. I mean, how can Roman prepare for that? Two top dogs in their own right going at it here tonight only episodes away from the royal rumble the same event roman has had success in a one-on-one -on -one match environment defeated drew mcintyre last year defeated AJ Styles the year before I mean Roman has had success in the past defeated Finn Balor at one point and now tonight he has to go up against John Moxie and at the Rumble if Orton could get through Solo Sokoa on the next episode it will definitely happen. But here comes his opponent. A man who made a shocking appearance at Survivor Series. Dropping stuck balls on his skull. Here comes John Moxley. A former WWE World Champion. Intercontinental Champion, Hardcore Champion, United States Champion. During the days of his Dean Ambrose day, uh, run in WWE, Boxley has been a, a success. And now that he's back, he said he doesn't just want the WWE title, he wants everything. He wants everyone. He wants to wrestle everyone. Ever since he's been a part of AEW and the Blackpool Combat Club over there, Moxley's been more of a workhorse than ever. And we get to see that in our main event. Here we go. Bellows wrong match begins as Moxley. John Moxley taking it towards Roman Reigns in the early going. And we got Paul Heyman on ringside, the wise man, the council to the Tribal Chief, but to what degree will he be favorite for Roman Reigns? It's Moxley off the top, and then, oh, they would have dodged that big clothesline that Reigns is known for. And he got it from behind, German suplex got him down near the ropes, but able to count, able to get a one count there. And oh, elbow to the spine as well. Oof. Big knee right to the arm. Moxie trying to hold his own here. Oof. Big takedown. And now Roman pounding away. And now Roman Reigns. They're going to do what he does best. Gain control. Taking it towards Moxley here. Oh my god, slamming the head and neck of Moxley onto the canvas. And now, oof, driving the knee to the side of the head. Moxley up top. Moxley looking to fly. Big elbow right into the heart of the tribal chief. Oof. 
Another woman rain, Superman punch. Uh oh, you know what's coming next? Superman punch, spear! We're going to end it early. Superman punch, spear combo. Is it enough over Ma? No, kick it and go. Holy. Very explosive in the early coming of this match. It's not mere takedown. Here it comes Reigns full head of steam. Boom to the face. And now the tribal chief got him up. Moxley's in big trouble. Snake eyes. And now Moxley with a clothesline. Trying to get back in it. Moxley. Now, got him here, belly to belly. Belly to belly, suplex. And a Reigns! Spear! Spear to Moxley! That's it! Reigns got him! Moxley powers at a two! Once again! Once again! Powered at a two at the spear! There's one thing about John Moxley, he's a tough SOB to keep him down. He has to be at the bottom of the barrel, just grabbing at straws, reaching for crumbs, low amount of energy. He has to reach that level for him to be taken down, and it seems that Moxley is far from that. Look at, the, look at Moxley. Futura arm bar locked in. The range is right near the ropes there. They want to do what Austin Theory did on Raw this past week. He was near the ropes, but he tapped out and last supper cut there by Moxley. And now Moxley. Elbow right to the face. And now up and down. Fisherman busted there by John, but oh. Kick to the skull, and our reigns coming in. Kick to the midsection. Up and down with a neck breaker. This is a tough battle for both men here. Roman Reigns, my God. No absence of malice whatsoever. Beating the hell out of Moxley. And now look at this. Moxley found an opening. Moxley found an opening with that half Nelson. The half Nelson netbreaker. I think trying to go for a fisherman suplex. The Reigns able to block back and forth. Moxley now, got him! The tossing neckbreaker. It's all or nothing for both men here. Moxley up top. Flying, oh, leg drop! And look, look, look at this. The wise man getting in the head of Moxley. Paul Heyman paying dividends, distracting Moxley. Look at that. Moxley Box tried to go for the pin earlier, but Heyman distracted him. And then Moxley realized he had the match won there. Allowing, allowing enough time to, for Roman to rest. But now, Paradigm Shift! Paradigm Shift! That's got to do it! Paradigm Shift! Reigns kicked out of two! You gotta be kidding me. For the love of God, Reigns! Trying to go for a clothesline, blocked it in Moxley. Got it from behind, ooh, elbow to the face there by Reigns. This is our main event live on SmackDown in New Orleans, Louisiana. Roman Reigns and John Moxley going out of here. Seen Orton get a win over Jimmy Uso. We see Kevin Owens become the number one contender for the WWE title at the Rumble in a tables match. Oh! And now we've seen these two go out of here. The elbow to the back of the skull. Roman now. Superman punch. 10X. 
Superman punch, hook of the leg. Oh, Moxley kicked out. I thought that was it. I thought he had him there, but Moxley powered out the last moment. Was it the last piece of gas Moxley had? And now Reigns are gonna stuff it out. Reigns got him here. Guillotine. Guillotine applied on the Moxley. Moxley's in deep trouble, got no choice. A rare occasion, Moxley had no choice but to submit. As Roman Reigns once again proves that SmackDown is the island of relevancy. That he is the tribal chief. As Roman Reigns able to stand tall tonight. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. hey, wait! In the ring! Randy Orton! Orton! Orton came through the crowd! Him and what are running with an RKO? There's Orton! Randy Orton with an RKO! Orton took out Reigns with an RKO! Sending a message! That he's gonna get through solo, and then Reigns is next. Randy Orton standing tall in the middle of the ring on SmackDown. Oh wait a minute, Moxley from behind. Moxley got Orton with a paradigm shift. Paradigm shift onto the Viper. Moxley was right. SmackDown will not be safe with Moxley around. What the hell's gonna happen next week? We're out of time. Good night, everybody.